Hey y'all, today we're gonna make gluten-free apple spice muffins using gluten-free boxed cake mix and applesauce. I'm Jamie with Savory Saver. I share gluten-free recipes, tips, tricks, and resources to make your gluten-free lifestyle easier. So please consider hitting that subscribe button and let's get started. So guys, for all those people that can eat gluten, this recipe is shown on YouTube and on websites as a three ingredient apple spice muffin. But since we can't have gluten, we had to do a couple changes to it. It's still easy. And if you have the right ingredients, you can get it down to four ingredients. I'm gonna use a little more than that because I don't have that fourth ingredient. So the ingredients for this recipe are one box of gluten-free yellow cake mix, two cups of applesauce, a cup or so of peeled and chopped apples. So I'm gonna use two small apples to get around a cup. We also need to make this a spice cake because most of the recipes use spice cake mix, which are hard to find gluten-free or they're super expensive. So we're gonna make our own. So if you have pumpkin pie spice or apple pie spice, use a couple teaspoons of that in the cake mix and you're ahead of everyone else. If not, this cake mix, I've already added some spices to it. And this is what I added to it to make it a spice cake mix. I added one teaspoon of ground cinnamon a half teaspoon of ground nutmeg, a fourth of a teaspoon of ground ginger, and then the last thing you wanna add is either a fourth of a teaspoon of ground allspice, or a fourth of a teaspoon of ground cloves, or an eighth of a teaspoon of each. You wanna add all of those into the bowl and give it a good whisk. And if you didn't get that, uh, those ingredients and measurements, I will link down below so you can print it all out and have it in front of you. So I've got my gluten-free cake mix in here. I've added my spices. I've given it a good whisk. So let's put it off to the side. Now I wanna get my apples prepared. So I'm gonna peel and chop the apples into about a fourth of an inch dice. So let's do that. And then we're pretty much just throwing it together. All right guys, our apples are all chopped up. There's a little more than a cup here, but we're not gonna worry about that because I don't think it's gonna matter. I also did not tell you what kind of apples I used. One's a Mac and one's a Gala, but I don't think that matters either. So use your favorite apple. So let's put this back here and get our bowl back. So to our cake mix, let's add our two cups of applesauce. Add all of our apples. And guys, at this point, you could also add a couple more things if you want. You could add raisins, you could add dried cranberries, you could add walnuts or pecans. I think I am gonna add a few dried cranberries to here because I have a little bit left in this bag, so let's use it up. So they're all in there. Let's give everything a good mix. Once you have your muffin mix all mixed up, it's time to fill up our muffin tin. This is a great big muffin pan and this is gonna make around 12. So I'm using the center ones just to hopefully keep everything baking evenly. So let's get these filled up. The other good thing is if I have too much batter, I can always add a couple more cups in here. Okay, y'all, that's 12 muffins and I have plenty of batter left. So I'm gonna 
fill up more of these and keep on filling. So our 12 muffins is really 20 muffins is what I got out of this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bake these in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 20 minutes or so until they're done and then we'll give them a taste. Hey guys, here are our apple spice muffins that are done. See the inside, it's cooked through. Those apples are nice and juicy. One thing I will say with the bottom is that you can see that because of my muffin tin liners, they stuck even after letting them cool for a while. So you may want to skip that step and just wash the muffin tin after it comes out of the oven and hopefully everything will come up non-stick. I probably should have done that, didn't do that. So that's a lesson learned on that. Let's give them a taste. They've got a great apple and spice taste. They're moist. It's all cooked through. They were easy to make. There was no eggs in it. There's no oil in it. So they're a little more healthy than other options may be. I think you definitely need to give this recipe a try. Guys, thanks for watching. Please leave me any comments below and I hope to see you on the next video.